Hey guys, look folk here and welcome to another FIFA 21 video. It is Friday, it is 6 p.m. and the Future Stars promo has just kicked off. One of my favorite promos of the whole year. And this is the first SPC we have been given. Now, don't worry, guys, this won't just be an SPC video. I will be reviewing one of these cards, one of the Bruno Gomarayesh cards. Hope I'm pronouncing his name right. He actually, I know he'll fit perfect into my team already. So I'm gonna make my decision in this video which one I will be completing and then which one I will be reviewing later on tonight. But I don't know what he requires. We'll have a look now, but no matter what he requires, I will be doing the SPC and I'll be reviewing one of his versions and also the various other cards that you can buy off the market. I will look to review over the weekend. I don't think we'll be given any other SPCs. We were given the La Liga SPC at 5 p.m. Um, we are also been given a daily SPC. It doesn't seem that we've been given anything for icons, so we won't really check that out. But uh, anyway, so Bruno Gamares, we'll take the we'll, we'll have a look at the two cards in a second on which one's better, which one's worse, or, or whatever. But in terms of the segments and what you need to do to get him, the first one will be an 84 rated squad with one in form. For a Prime Electron Players pack. And then for a Premium Gold Players pack. So actually decent packs back. And that will be for an 85 rated squad with one team league. So it's, it, it is going to come in at over 200,000 coins. Probably 250,000 coins. And in return, what sort of a player are you going to be able to get for that? So they're both 87 rated. They're not twins, are they? I'm pretty certain they are. They, they, yeah, they're definitely the same player. Okay, so this is interesting. So the one on the left has one more pace. 12 more shooting, 2 more passing, 1 more dribbling, but a lot less, 6 less physicality and 12 less in defense. Which card do I look more at? Are those? Oh, I don't I don't know. We'll have to look at their in-game stats in a second, but this is a really, really cool SPC. Um, obviously, the one on the right is very much more positioned as a CDM, and obviously, if you want a CDM or a more defensively-minded player for your team, then obviously the card on the right is going to be the one to go for. In terms of a box-to-box -box midfielder, yeah, the one on the left is probably better. And if you ever wanted to use one of them as a cam, I mean, both of them have got very, very good dribbling. But again, like the CDM card would be wasted as a cam. The CDM card could still play as as a centre But realistically, um, the, the the one on the right you should only use for a CDM. And the one on the left you can probably use as a centre as a boxer, boxer midfielder, or as a cam. I think I'm going to do the one on the left. And he'll take position ahead of Rafinha in my main team. The headline of Rafinha. We'll have to compare those two cards in a second. But that is a really, really good SBC. We'll compare the two cards now in terms of in-game stats. And then we'll finish up the video by having a look at... Um, what players have been included. So there's that Rafinha cards that I'll sell um, now because then Bruno Gomez could just go in there. He'll get on uh, perfect chemistry. Cancelo will remain on a chem and, and I'm fine with that. That doesn't bother me too much. So um, Bruno Gomez, and I really hope that I am saying his name correctly. I think I am. I think I'm trying to put like a bit of an accent on uh, on Gomez. Uh, probably sound like a bit of an idiot, but we're just gonna roll with it, you know. At least I'm having a, at least I'm trying, I suppose. But um, he has a 77, sorry, a 78 rated base card as well, so it's a very nice increase. Oh, I can't put the other one on there. Um. Okay, that's a bit annoying. So we'll have a look at this one because this is the one that I want to do out of the two of them. So free star, free star, high medium. I wonder if they're gonna have different skill moves and weak foot. Six foot, high medium for the for the work rates. And in-game was a very good card. I mean, his pace is fine for a box to box but He's got amazing shot power. His shooting stats for, for a centre midfielder were very, very good. His passing, certainly in terms of vision, short passing and long passing is superb. His, his dribbling, a uh, little low on agility, but still not too bad. His ball control, in-game dribbling, composure, reactions are all absolutely superb. He doesn't even have that bad defensive stats. Like, I wouldn't, you know, use him as a CDM. You might as well just go and get, like, the other version of him to, to go and play him as a CDM. But his, his defensive stats are still good for a centre midfielder and, and decent physicality as well, outside foot shot as a trait. So what does the other one have, then? The other one... So that was free star, free star with high medium work rates. What's this one going to have? So the same traits. Yeah, the same traits. We'll, we'll compare it like this. It's easier. Medium high. Okay, so I, I like the way they changed the work rates there because a, a high medium on the CDM card wouldn't be great. Uh, let's be quite honest. So I, I'm happy that they've done that. And um, I mean, this one on the right's got a lot more physicality. Like you look at his strength increase there. His defensive stats are obviously very good. Um, his agility and, and balance isn't too much lower than than, than this card. Only so so this particular CDM card's only got one less agility and one less balance, which is interesting. Their dribbling is very very similar. Um, this card has got one better overall dribbling stats, but there really isn't too much in it at all between them. Both of them have got very, very good passing. They're both good cards. Listen, you know, um, I wouldn't say really any other is better than, like, you know, if you want a more attacking, well-rounded box, box midfielder, you go for this card that I'm having go, uh, that I'm 
currently uh, looking at right now. And if he wants the CDM card, a more defensive-minded player, then you go for this one. There's no card that's better than the other. It's just what you need for your squad. And if you want the defensive player, then, then this one's easy to go for. And if you don't necessarily need a defensive player, but maybe a more well-rounded or maybe even more like an attacking centre midfielder, then, then you go with this one. So this would be the one I'll be doing personally, just because I think this slots nice into my team. Let me just show you what, what, what I mean. And obviously, in terms of an increase on Rafinha, he should certainly have that. So if we can just pop him into the squad here. The menu's being a little bit lagger. So he has the same dribbling, a lot more pace, less shooting. Okay. He's actually not a million miles better. I mean, this Rafinha card goes around at 40,000 coins. You would think that PSG would eventually win those um, four consecutive matches by which you would then go to an 85 rated. By which that point, he'd arguably be better than, than Gamayas. I mean, comparing these two cards, Gamayas has got much better physicality, which does make a difference. That's poor physicality for a centre midfielder from Rafinha and has a lot more defending. Um, but this will be, I think on the whole, this is obviously a better card than Rafinha and the slot very nice into the team. So we'll have a review on him later on tonight. Just before we finish off the video, let's have a look and see if we got uh, Curtis Jones and as one of the players. I'm really hoping that we did. Um, he 100% deserves to be in there. We'll have a look at objectives as well. I saw Bergwijn as uh, as one of them then, which is interesting. Tonali, wow, that card looks fantastic. Also a 50k pack that you can, uh, that you can grind for as well. Of course, there's nothing in... Um, in milestones and then we'll finish off with the news and we'll see the full list of players that have been released we can just show it here okay what Fe okay so future stars can fulfill their potential in a variety of ways to celebrate this giovanni reina reese james and diego dallas will have two future stars player items released during the future stars promo the first versions are available uh, for team one and then they'll get another version available from the 12th of february do i like that ah uh... I suppose it's not... I mean, Reese James as a CDM looks absolutely insane. Diego Dalot there having do, uh, two different fullback positions and then uh, Reina there as well from from uh, from Borussia Dortmund. And I don't know if I'm a massive... Oh, com, uh, that Kavinga guy there from, from Ren at 91 rate looks absolutely insane. But on the whole, um, some very interesting cards that we've been given. Isaac there, did, did Jones get one? He didn't, did he? Barnes got one, Schlobbersly got one, he deserves it. Of course, they leave out Liverpool players, but it is what it is. Hopefully, he'll be in the second team next week, but it's some very exciting cards there, but I will have a review on that Bruno Gamayas card a little bit later on tonight, and maybe also um, I, I, maybe a couple of the other cards as well. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe that Reese James card potentially. But anyway, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later.